Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play the Flintstones, the rescue of Dino and Hoppy. In our last episode, we saw the jungle stage and the last basketball challenge, so now let's get our Castlevania on as we move into the scary castle. Here we've got some scary bats to greet us, take care of them. And up here, this, puzzle, this trap here might look a little scary, but all we have to do is keep running to the right and those boulders will drop right behind us. So, that's pretty easy. Now here we could go to the left and take the long way around, but since we've got a bunch of coins, we can just use our flying ability to make a little shortcut there, and pass by another one of these not-so-scary traps. And that skeleton will start to follow us, but that's no big deal. And here we've got a door, which is kind of interesting, because earlier in the city, in the first level, we saw doors that we couldn't go into, but here we can actually go inside and get that one up, so we'll do that. Now we'll ignore that lever on the wall for a little bit so that we can clear out these skeletons. And now we'll run back and pull it so that we can open the door to the scariest part of the level. This is the rising lava section. But since I'm kind of cheap like that, I'll just use my uh, flying ability and that'll get us up no problem. And we've still got 70 coins to spare, so nothing to worry about there. Now we continue to scale the walls of this castle, the home of Count Rockula, distant cousin of Count Chocula, but not nearly as sweet, at least that's what I've been told. And we can ignore those two paths up there, because those are both dead ends, so nothing we need to worry about. And here's another not-so-scary trap. Again, if you just keep running, the blocks will fall out behind you, and there's really nothing to worry about. Some more monsters here, so we can get our coins back up to 100, hopefully. And up ahead, we've got the fastest room in the game, so are you ready for this? That was the fastest room in the game. Not much that we could have done in there anyway, so best just to get in and get out. And good, now we've got our energy refilled, so we're ready to climb up this wall and run into the, I guess you could call him the mini-boss of this level. This is the Frankenstein monster. We could, uh, could have just run past him if we really wanted to, but it's no matter because right down here in this doorway is the boss, Count Rockula. I like to use the uh, usual strategy to beat him, drop these exploding dinosaur eggs, so we'll do that. As you can see, he jumps from platform to platform. When he gets to these lower platforms, though, it's easy enough just to hit him with the club, so we'll do that. And hopefully it won't take too many more of these exploding dinosaur eggs to show him that we are here for our time machine piece. Alright, just continue chasing him around and there we go. That will do it for Count Rockula, so we can take our next time machine piece and head up to the top of this castle and move on. As you can see, we've got the uh, monitor now, so we are almost finished with the time machine, thankfully. And uh, I think we'll take a little break here, so until next time, this is the Masked Cobbler saying so long and happy gaming.